Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the template that iGEMP provides you with so that you're able to customize it for your team. So this is the easiest option for creating your wiki. You don't have to do much in the way of writing your own CSS code. It's more just changing colors and fonts and pictures to personalize it for your team. And so it's been a while since I've done this. Um, so I'll just kind of be walking you through what I would do and we will kind of learn a little bit together um, about how the template works because usually what I do is I create my own template for the pages and so I don't have to find things on iGEMS as much. Um, so I just go to wiki tools and edit and then I pull up there template and so the first part of the template is a lot of JavaScript so that the nav bar works and so you don't really have to mess with that. The part that I'm going to start with um, is finding where the image in the nav bar is because right now it's just a blank placeholder image and it is coming up right around here. Okay, so it's right here. And I'm going to go into the photo that I uploaded in the last video. So I'll show you how to do that. You just copy this link and then just replace it right in here. And so we'll save that. And now you can see that instead of the placeholder image, there is my team's logo. The next thing that I'm going to do is just change up some of the colors on here. And so the way that I like to do this is I like to go inspect the element. And I find that this is the easiest way to find what exactly you're working with. And so this is a menu item direct link is the div class. And then a lot of times after I edit the load or after I edit, I have to refresh the page again in order to get it up. And so I'm actually gonna pull up this page. Hopefully it'll work this time. There we go. You can see that that is updated on here. Um, and I'm just gonna keep inspecting the elements on here. So the menu item direct link. And so you can see here that you're starting to get into some different colors for the menu. Uh, so this says that's the menu on hover. This is the direct link. There's the main menu and then the sub menu based on how there are sub items that you can click on. And so I'm just going to go in and look at all of the different options. So these are some of the sub items you can see, the sub item on hover. And so I think I'm going to start by changing this color. And I'm going to change it to the shade of navy. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. And sometimes also after you edit the template, you actually have to go back to edit the page and then save the template in order to get it to save. And now you can see that um, I have edited two or one of the 
menu items and one of the ones that extends from it. And so I am going to go back to the template, up to refresh. And then I am going to edit this one too with that same shade of navy. Let's type that. Now you can see that the rest of the navbar is also navy. Save the page, and you can see all of that maybeness. The next thing that I'm going to do is change the font color. So it's the same thing with inspecting the element. So this is the menu direct link. And then I am actually just going to change this to white. And you can see that it has changed these three. And the reason that it hasn't changed all of them is because the rest of these have submenus underneath them. And so you can see that that's the distinction. And then I, so I'm going to get the submenu one and see that it's the menu item current page. not seeing it so I'm gonna just try a different one and see and now it's coming up as part of the menu item and so for this then I'm just gonna change the color again And now you can see that the rest of them are white as well. Now I'm going to show you how to do one of the sub items. So if I want to go to here to inspect the element, it's the sub item current page. Well, actually, in order to get all of them, I'm going to go on to one that isn't the current page. And so this is just the sub sub-menu item. So a lot of times when you want to be changing the color of a font, it will just say color, but if you want to change the color of what is behind it or of a shape, it will be background color. And so that's something good to look for. So now going back to update with what we have done. You can see that now the font colors for the sub items are also white. So then 
I'm going to go back in. And I actually changed my mind with that one. And I think that I will have the Lynx B. Navy and then have the background color for them be white and see what that looks like. And it worked for most of them, not the one that we are currently on because the current page still has a different color. So I'm going to see if I can find that to show you how to change when the current page is highlighted, what to do. And so I think that it is right here. And when it is on the current page, I am just going to change the color to a lighter blue. And so it took me a moment to find it. But here it is. And now you can see that the current page is this blue. And so if you change it up, It should work on all of the pages. You sometimes have to go in and save it again. And then you can see that we now have Navbar that has some custom colors on it. I'm also going to show you how to change this gray bit at the end. So just with inspecting that. And let's see if there's a 2019 team member team menu that we can change the color of. And change the background color of that to our lovely navy. And then I am also going to go back in. And change this quickly. And so that was just the current page. And we'd save it. And now it should look quite a bit different. Yes. So now it's red, white, and blue. It has the navy at the bottom. And that looks very nice. And again, uh, sometimes you have to just go back in and resave the page. So don't get worried if things aren't coming up at first. And so now I'm just going to show you quickly how to change some of the text. It's the same exact way. Um, they used header one for this. So if we want to go back in and find header one.
you can see that these have the different font sizes that they're using and then they have the color for the different fonts. So I'm changing this one to red. And then I'll do for the rest of the headers, I am going to change them just to a lighter red. And then these are for the paragraphs. And so for these, I am changing them to navy. The A tag is actually for whenever you have a link. And so I want that to also just be navy. This is for the hover, for when you hover over a link. And for now, I'm going to have that be red. This is for the border of tables, which I want to be navy. Table cells, which I also want to be navy. The headers and borders. Oops, I actually want the background to be white. And then the border to be navy. And then you can see how you're just really just scrolling through all of these and changing what you want. This um, is for all of your lists, your unordered, your ordered, and your list item just for how you want it to come up. If you want it to be numbered or bullet points. And so now we're going to go back. And... We save this page and see what our changes brought. So you can see we have the header one is that red with header two being the light red. You can see that our links are navy, but when you scroll over them, they turn red, which is nice. And then you can see an example of an unordered list. And so hopefully this helps you out with how you're going to change up some of the basic things on your wiki, at least for starting out. And thanks for watching the video. I hope that this is helpful. Have a nice night.